Hello boys and girls, welcome to the joy of tumblers. Today we're going to paint a happy little tumbler. We'll just cut that out. But to me, looks like he's sad right now because he's boring and just plain white. Screaming. Add me some color please. Don't you worry little fella. We'll get you pretty dried up in just a moment. Oh, wait a minute. There, that's better. Now let's get started. Oh, my mustache is killing me. That's why I shave. We have our tools. Got a couple knobs here, because I've heard you're supposed to paint with knobs, but you're not supposed to paint with knobs. You're supposed to use those on vegetables. Oh, oh it's tickling me. Jeez. Oh, for starters, we're gonna mix up some Prussian blue. Paint a happy little sky. Hold still, you little booger. So we're just gonna paint happy little sky all the way around. Nothing fancy, you don't have to be perfect. We don't live in a world of perfection. Just fill in the sky, make it happy. It's your world, you can do what you want. Let's pretend some happy little clouds up here. I'm totally painting this right now. Now, we'll load up some happy little clouds here. Just dab it all over the world there. That's wherever your cloud lives, that's where you put it. Wherever you put it, boom. That's its new home and it likes it there. Put as many clouds as you want or as few clouds as you want. It doesn't matter. It's your world. I got in the wrong color blue there. That's okay. Happy little accidents. Now I'm gonna do a little darker blue. I'm gonna just tint the top a little bit. Make it darker. In our world, the top is framed out nicely. That's where if you go up too high, you'll hit your head on the ceiling of the world. Now, no need to get too crazy. We're gonna have a lot more happening in this little world down here. I don't really know what I'm doing. So now we're just gonna fade that out to the bottom. Pull it down, fade it out. A little back and forthy. Beat the devil out of it. We're gonna fade it off down here. That's having a little trouble fading. That's okay. Let's go ahead and put some water down here. Oh, well, we got the blue on our brush. The water is gonna reflect the sky. So it's gonna be the same color, okay? Go ahead and fill all that in blue. I'm feeling blue today. We might as well. Let's get a little dip of white in there. Just, just dip it all around. Woo! Oh, yeah, look at that. That's get a little crazy. Woo, I like that. Oh, that's fun. Now let's get a little crazy. We're gonna get our knife, I think. At least we're gonna try. Get a little white, a little gray. I mean black. I don't really know. Is that gonna look good? Probably not. Let's put a little purple in it for contrast. I like purple. Purple's a happy little color. Get you a little roll of paint on there. At least that's what I hear. Okay, let's try to do some happy little mountains. Hopefully this won't be a disaster. So, we're gonna have a little mountain live right here. Wow, that does not work at all. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Look at this mountain. Isn't that the most beautiful mountain you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Come on, mountain. You know you want to be there. Oh my gosh. See, I told you, you don't paint with knives. Okay, that's obviously not working. So we're gonna try this brush right here and see if that works for my mountains. So now we're gonna paint the mountain. That looks more like a mountain. There we go. Look at that. Look at that mountain. Pull it down. Just get it a little happy. And we're going to do some mountains over this way. We're not going to go too crazy, too far. I want a little bit of a more of a peak on this one. He's really tall. He's reaching up to the heavens. So we're not gonna go too crazy. Let's put a little one right here. A little guy here. There you go. Look at him. 
Isn't it beautiful? Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Another mountain over here. Why not? If you go to these mountains, you got a lot of hiking that you can do. Now you want to dip it into your white. We're going to lighten this color up and do some little fogginess on the bottom. Just dab it. Dab, dab, dab. Looks like I'm about out of white here. A little dark right there. Here we go. So at the bottom of the clouds, we have this lovely thing called pollution. Lovely pollution. Isn't that wonderful? Just tap, tap the bottom. Get it all foggy down there. Just dab it in that world there. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. We're going to add a little bit more purple, a little more black. We're going to shadow our mountains. Because back here, where the sun don't shine, it's a little darker. And a little scarier, if you're afraid of the dark. Whoops, got a little off there. That's okay. I'll make it look like I did that on purpose. There we go. Let's do purple. I like some more purple in that. Purple is not as scary. Oh, that's much better. Just look at this. Watch this. Boom. Just like that. Mm. Just a little dab. That's all it takes. Boys and girls, we're coming on with some nice little mountains here. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. That's beautiful. Just dab. If you're wondering, this is just a flat brush. I don't know what they're called because I don't name my brushes. A little peak here. Our sun's coming from this way over here. So over here we're gonna do a little a little lighter. I've got a lot of purple on that one. It's okay. It's okay. That's what it wanted to be. Look at that. Just do oops, messed up again. No, I mean uh, I had another happy accident. There we go. Look at that. Mm. Wow. You can almost climb those mountains and ski them. And then for the other side, we're just gonna add white to that mixture and lighten it up. Just like this. Just like this. Nothing too much. Nothing too crazy on this one. There we go. Let's blend that out a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah. That's lovely. You want it to be rocky looking. Mountains are really rough. I don't know if you've ever been on a mountain before. And if you fall down, it'll hurt really bad because they're rough. And that's the way they should be. That's the way God made them. Rough little mountains. Yeah, really white spots. A lot of snow came down heavy up here on that day. Oh my gosh. That's a little too heavy. All right. Let's just blend that out. Wipe my brush off. Here we go. That's like we did on purpose. Now, we're going to do a little reflection down here with the same stuff that we just did. Just paint that mountain back down there. I should have did that while I was doing the other. But I forgot. So, oh, that's not purple. So just do a little. It's an illusion. It doesn't have to match perfectly. Nobody's going to line it up. So we got a peak here. It's not going to make that big a difference. Okay. You just got it. Something similar. No big deal. Pull it up. All the reflections always go up. Because the mountains are upside down. See there? Look at that. It's like it was on purpose. Because it was. Oh. I believe I messed my palette up. That's okay. We just go with it. We just do whatever happens to happen. Yes, there it is. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Let's give it a little chick -chick 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 -chick. Yeah, it helps if you make the sound effects. All your family will think you're crazy, but it makes for good painting. Let's go ahead and bring some more white in here. Remember the bottom's fuzzy because of pollution. Good old pollution. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, sir. We love our pollution. Automobiles, cars, same thing. There we go. Just dab it. Dab it, dab, dab, dab. Get it all blended in together. I like that. Next you want to take your little fan brush. Make some happy little trees. Okay? Okay. 
Okay, now for your fan brush. For the trees, you want to get a little green, a little lime green, and some black. Not too much black. Black can be really overpowering. You want these things to look like evergreens. Okay? Now comes the bravery test. Some fuzzy haired nut telling you to paint over all your hard work you put into these mountains. Just start somewhere off to the side. That way you don't have to be too committed. Draw your little trink drum straight down. There you go. Start with the corner. Just tap, tap, and start making little tree thingies, branches, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Just more pressure, the more down you go. There you go. Isn't that nice? Look at that. You made a tree. He's very happy. He's a happy tree. Let's put a little friend over here. He's got a friend. Smaller. Over here. So at the top, just want to use your corner. Just give it the impression. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here we go. And then fatter towards the bottom. There we go. And another trick to this is if you want to go ahead and do it, load one side with the light green and one side a little darker. Now you can do two things at one time. There you go. Look at that. Trees are easy. Look at that. We almost have a forest. We're going to put a couple more right here. Just commit. Commit to it. Go ahead and load it up. So start at the top with the corner. Okay. All right, there we go. It's easier once you get down the fatter parts. And this fan brush is just a cheapo Walmart fan brush. It's kind of wanting to separate on me, but it's okay. Let's put a little highlight here at the top. There we go, he's, he's really tall. He's reaching the heavens, reaching for that light. There, there we go. Wow, isn't that beautiful? We're gonna have some nice little meadow down here at the bottom. So that's what he's gonna be sitting on. We're not really worried about the bottom right now. Put some more shading over here. Wow, that's a lot of black. Okay, that's okay, just work it in. It's dark down there underneath. Who knows what goes on underneath them trees. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? We're going to get our two inch brush. I mean, this is only one inch. It's the same one we did the sky with. We're going to decide what kind of tree is going to live over here. There's a big old bushy guy right here. He's just going to live right here. Look at that. Let's get a little orange in there. Here we go. We got a little colors here. Put a little red in there, a little crimson red, just to give it a little more realism. And then look at that. Should we have two trees? Let's have a little branch coming off right here lives over here just tap it be really aggressive with it if you want to there you go it doesn't matter get some more dark in there the dark dark parts help sell the illusion that it's deep gives it dimension in the background we're going to come over again with some highlights in a minute all the way down bring it all the way down why not why not just bring him all the way down here just bring him all the way down to the edge he lives all the way down here. All right, he's a big guy. Takes up a lot of space. Just do it, play with it till you're happy. He's gonna, he's gonna come over here. He's taking this guy over. We'll separate him a little more when we go to add our highlight. No big deal. Here we go, look at that. There's the highlight. Put some highlight up here. Highlight up here. This guy's really tall, he's reaching the sky. Reaching the sun. Look at that. We're gonna come back over in just a minute and really accentuate that highlight. Making some birds happy. Nice little place to live for the birds. Okay. Oops. Just tap it. Don't pull. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and get some more brush. If if you put too much red, don't worry. Just keep tapping. It'll go away. There's a plane going over. Blend it right in there. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful start to a tree? I almost forgot to put my land right here that I want. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at that. Look at that. Just like that. Boom. It lives right there. That's a little lush meadow. It goes right behind that tree. Look at that. 
Isn't that nice? Who knows what lives in your world? Look at that. Let's bring another, another layer right there. Let's bring it right there. Oh yeah. Look at that. This meadow is going to come all the way down the bottom. Down there. There we go. Look at that. Just melts away. Under the trees, you got to pay attention. It's a little darker under there. Remember? Shadows. And then we got some rolling spots with the heels. Look at that. There we go. Look at that color just pop in there. Wow. This is exciting. So now what we're going to do, we're going to give the mountains a place to live. Okay? Just give a little land mass over here. Right back in the distance. Look at that. Just draw it on there. Probably should have did this before I did the trees. But that's okay. We forget sometimes. That's okay. Look at that. Nice little land. This is my flat brush, by the way. Pretty sure I said that. Okay, now we got our land established. We're gonna just put in a little white water line right under that. Look at that. Glistening in the water. It's still got brown on it. So let's clean that off. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that water. Whoops. A little heavy there. Must be uh, some sea otters playing. Maybe some beavers trying to build a dam. Probably could use the knife on this, but I don't trust it. Didn't really work on the mountains for me. Just pull that out this way. Can you see that? Just pull it out. There's some happy things going over here. This is this brush is not very good for this. It's a little too big. That, that looks like poop. If we had some purple, we might even, might ruin it. Or it might be better. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Cover up some of that poopy brown. Let's just take our little knife. Scratch some of this garbage off. Here we go. That's better. That's happy. Is it hot in here? Is it just me? Just tap it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that land. Just appearing out of nowhere. Let's put some land over here. Right there. The rest of it disappears. Right here. Just put a little bit right there. Who cares? We got ourselves a picture coming on here, people. Let's get back to this old tree. Let's see if this works. Let's try to scratch it in here. This whole knife's got to be good for something. There you go. Look at that. Nice little tree trunk there. Oops. Got a little crazy. Probably rather do paint, but whatever. It's just an illusion. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? It can actually be good for something. Let's begin to worry about it. Now we'll grab our yellow mixture, the green. Really fatten that bad boy out. Go over your little lines that you scratched. Add some highlights. This is up front, really bright, really vibrant. It's got good things going on there. This is what a good happy day hike at the mountains looks like. Well, would you looky there? I almost forgot. Our trees aren't making a reflection. They must be vampires. Let's fix that. We don't want vampire trees. And I'm not getting the fan brush. I'm just going to use my old flat brush. Bring this one here. We have some reflection down there. Here we go. Look at that. We fixed it. No more vampire trees. There we go. Look at that. Probably some over here that we'd see. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Bring it right up to the edge there. It's your world. Nobody's going to know the difference. The only thing left to do, put your white water line there. And I think we'll call this painting done. If you want to, you can take that same color. Just put a little tap in here. Create some separation in your heels. See there? Look at that. We just made some shadows in our heels. That's coming out really beautifully. Let's add our water lines. All right, flat brush again. Nice and flat. Go right over that tree. Right there. Look at that. Did you see that? Just the slightest touch. 
didn't hit me anything crazy. Take a little, take a little tumbler there with your paintbrush. Just the corner if you want to. Look at that. Bring it a little highlight out. Wow, that was a lot. Whoops. I mean, uh, that looks good. Just use your corner, flatten it out. Who cares? Pull it with your finger. And back, go back to your old kindergarten days of finger painting. Might as well add some more ripples down here. We don't have still water. You can take some across here if you want to. I wouldn't suggest it. I have no idea why I'm doing it. I guess I want to mess the whole, the whole thing. And you know, you've got that same color. Mix it up again. Go back over it. Just mute it out a little bit. Create that much more realistic on the water. Now, the only thing left to do is to sign it. And you know, we like to use red. There. And that completes our painting. Wow, that turned out fantastic. We ended up with a beautiful, happy little tumbler. I can hear the shouts of joy. One thing, I forgot to paint the bottom, but I'll take care of that. I just have to decide what I'm going to put on it. So now, all that's left to do is let that dry, put two coats of the Mate Clear A on. And if you don't know how to use this, click the link in the card and it'll show you all the tips and tricks you need to know. Whoops, I'll pick that up later. Thanks for joining me today, boys and girls. And as always, happy painting and God bless. Oh, and always wear your socks and sandals, okay? And then, we're gonna put two coats of papa.